Hello, everybody. I'm Mimi, and welcome to this week's installment of Social Graces. Today, we're going to talk about the conversation trap. My grandmother has dementia. It's genetic. If it weren't for her garden, I don't know what she would do. She sits out there all day. At least she has her garden. Anyway, I see my friend Joe over there, and but I haven't you know, said hi to him ever yet. since my baby died, three days after he was born, I've been suicidal and anti-depression medication. Oh. I can still feel his cold, dead baby. Every time it looks like he finds a way out, she drops a bigger bomb. Cold, dead baby hand? No, Melissa, please. You're making Travis look like a gigantic asshole if he cuts out. I can still feel his cold, dead baby hand. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, Joe. <laughs> well, Travis is a nice guy. He's not gonna do that. Why not? Because Travis has got himself some fucking social graces, which Melissa obviously does not. Any one of us could trot out all of our most horrifying experiences at a cocktail party. And we're not gonna. We're gonna keep it light and friendly because we understand that there is a time and a place for everything. My grandmother has dementia. If we weren't for her garden, I don't know what she would do. At least she has a garden. Yeah, she has the garden. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. I see my friend Joe over there. Yeah, go. Thank you. It's great to see you. Great to see you too. Well, now look at Melissa. Now she's got herself some social graces. She can take a hint when it's dropped in her, and she doesn't make Travis feel bad for his graceful exit. So, hold your top 10 tragedies on the inside of that too much information vampire vice grip motor mouth. Hope to see you next week on Social Graces.